Uh, thank you very much, Noah, for having me. Uh, my name is Tom DeGaran. I'm the UK general manager of a business called Notel. Uh, I feel a bit of a fraud. I'm not the founder of this business. Uh, it was founded four years ago in New York. Uh, chaps called Edward Shinderovich, our chairman, and Amol Sava, our CEO. Um, who are we? What do we do? Uh, we're a flexible, uh, flexible office platform. What does that mean? We allow businesses to uh, be in spaces which they want to be in, which are customized to them on flexible terms. We exist because leases are broken in the current form, and we have a solution which can help establish businesses, Fortune 1,000 businesses, as well as scaling VCs, scaling growth and VC-backed businesses, many of which are in, in the room today. Why are leases broken, right? They require an enormous amount of capital, enormous amount of time, enormous amount of effort to make them happen. It all comes up front. In this country, you pay stamp duty, which is the equivalent of evaporating money, uh, and it doesn't work with your business, right? You make a hiring plan for two years, you make an operational plan for two, maybe four years, but the landlord wants five years, wants 10 years, wants 15 years on a lease. That's not going to work for you. You've got to make this ridiculous punt as to where your business is going to be in 10 years, but you only know where you're going to be 100 people, 200 people, 50 people next week. It's a long-term commitment, and it's very, very inflexible. I really believe in this notion that there is this perfect office. The problem with the perfect office, though, is that it exists for about five minutes, because all the other variables around it change all the time. Right? The way you work, your people, your management, the executive team, you somehow have to put this fixed variable in the middle of the office, and everything else moves around it. Let's try and change that. It sits on your balance sheet, and it very rarely represents who you are as a business. So what do we come up with? So we've got a flexible office platform that powers your people, productivity, and business. So we'll flip the power. So rather than, than say it's a 15-year commitment, let's start with you. Let's start with you as a customer. What do you want to commit to? You're comfortable with a year, you're comfortable with two years, you're comfortable with three years. Let's start with that. Let's then create a space which is truly reflective of who you are and what you want to be. Rather than say, here's your floor pan, you know, you're a Series B company, your ping pong table goes over there, your bean bag goes over there, it's, okay, here's a workplace strategist, here's an interior designer, here's a floor plan. You guys go away and jam and come up with something which you really want and reflect who you are. Your people, your brand, your culture, your everything. Real estate is exceptionally slow. I mean, unbelievably slow. It could be 9, 12 months before you have bums on seats looking for a space. Let's try and make that 9, 12 weeks. Let's try and make that 9, 12 days. Let's do a one-day deal that is possible. And then let's wrap it all together such that you don't have 15 bills to 15 different people at 15 different times of the month, and it's all as one, such that you have this one item, which is a term which you've committed to, which works for you. It's one simple line item in your P&L, which is office. And then finally, and this is the most important bit, let's do that globally. Real estate is a very fragmented industry. There's no one landlord who owns more than 1% globally. How, do you, how, how, how does it work when you go, right, I want my business to be in London, in San Fran, in Delhi, in Tokyo. You've got to go to each landlord and get a different deal every time. Let's be that one provider which can help you out globally. Uh, a couple of faces in the room, I think, are saying, I've heard this story before. That's not the case. Um, that business which I think you're thinking of uh, is a very, very different business. And it focuses on co-working. And it's a co-working product. And as you can, the, can see on the left-hand side, who are our customers? They're enterprise businesses. They're some of the world's biggest customers which are tapping into this flexibility. The majority are over 50, up to thousands. And they generally stick with us for sort of two or, two or so years. They often, or almost always renew. But the typical commitment is, is 24 months in London, it's 27 months. We want it to be free range, not battery farm. <laughs> a couple of smiles. Uh, and more than anything, we want it to be customized to our client, to represent who they are and who they aspire to be. Um, a couple of years ago, you'd have heard this part of the market referred to as just co-working. That's definitely changed. It's flexible office. And, and, and it is an enormous market. I'm sure we're going to hear a lot today and yesterday about total addressable market. We're talking about a you know, two and a half trillion dollar market. It's only going to continue. And if you believe some of the uh, industry commentators, the GLLs of this world, it's getting up to sort of 30% penetration. At the moment, in London, penetration is probably mid-single digits. 
In New York, it's probably low single digits, but the world, a world in which it gets up to 30, it's driven by demand. It's driven by these large established businesses saying, I want to tap into this flexibility. Leases don't work for me. So I mentioned our global footprint. We're in a number of locations. We're five million, or approaching five million square foot. If you don't know what square foot is, uh, one Canada square, you know, the Canary Wharf Tower is a million and a half square foot. So think sort of three or four of them side by side. We're in 15 cities with 260 customers. We're in London. Let me tell you about our London footprint. If we continue to grow, we, uh, I signed our first lease on the 4th of April last year. So in 18 months, we've come a very long way. But that's driven by the fact that customers want our product. You go to these large businesses and they say, yes, that is the thing I've been searching for. I don't want to be in a shared entrance, a shared lobby, a shared whatever. I want to really represent who I am. I want my end office user, my worker, just to think they're in their own office. I think on the uh, left-hand side, we have what a no-tell agreement looks like. On the right-hand side, what a traditional lease looks like. I think one way to think of this is, pick an item in this room, uh, you know, one of these lights. Imagine going to a shop and saying, right, I want a light. And you go, OK, cool, yeah, you can have that light, but you have to take nine other lights. And you go, no, no, I just want one light. That's all I came to shop for. Please give me my one light. They say, no, 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 OK, you can have five. And you're like, OK, still don't really want it, but somehow or other you agree to take on five lights. And they go, OK, um, yeah, this is going to be delivered in nine months. And you're like, I don't want it in nine months. I want it tomorrow. Of course I do, because I'm here at the shop. I want the light. They say, OK, it's going to be in nine months. And by the way, when it arrives, you're going to have to put it together yourself. Or you're going to have to pay someone to put it together. And you, know, you go, yes, I know nothing about electronics. I know nothing about lenses. I know nothing about whatever the hell goes in a light. But that is corporate real estate right now. That is the way it works. Let's try and do it significantly faster, involve significantly fewer people, and let's take all the pain out of it. And this is some of our customers. As I said, we're serving some of the world's largest businesses, as well as some really interesting scaling, scaling businesses who are tapping into that same flexibility. You can see on the pie, about a third of our businesses are tech businesses. Why is that? You know, they're very innovative in the way in which they think about new technologies. Right? You think of, think of the cloud and early adoption of that. That is exactly what is happening here. But make no mistake, we're not just about the tech sector. We're, we're serving some, I guess what you define as slightly more boring industries. I want to show you a couple of spaces uh, in the next sort of five, six pretty pictures. And what you're going to see in them is no evidence of no-tell. You know, we're not there putting our brand on things, saying this is the way things should be. Like I said, it's the way people have designed, or the senior stakeholders in those businesses have designed their spaces. I mean this, I mean this with the greatest respect to George Michael. I wouldn't typically have him on the wall in my office, but they have made a decision to put that on the wall because they want it to reflect a certain thing, maybe about George Michael. <laughs> uh, carrying on, last minute, just down the road in Farringdon, clearly want to represent that hot pink. That was designed by them. They've got the egg chairs. Uh, I haven't been to the milk office in New York. It looks delicious. Uh, Zeus, but Zeus in, uh, in San Fran also, you know, a lot more of a rustic industrial feel. And then finally, New Bank, uh, which is obviously a bit more Scandi modern. What I really want to get across here is that all of these spaces truly reflect the occupiers in them. And that's something which has been missing previously. It hasn't been a customer-focused industry, and it hasn't been a customer-focused product. That's what we're trying to build here. Um, if you want to discuss it or talk about anything further, please hit me up, tom at notel.com. Uh, otherwise, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Thank you very much.